Hey Seeker, how are you doing? Welcome to the Existential Shift, to your monthly taroscope for November. And this will be Pisces, Pisces Seeker, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I'm Midheaven Pisces, and I can tell you I resonate a lot watching my Midheaven, my Pisces. So let's make it to your Midheaven as well, in case you're a cross watcher or Midheaven Pisces. So I went back and forth with which zodiac I'm feeling today, wanting to do either first or just right now. And I kept changing my mind. Kept changing my mind. And I just sat here and I was like, okay, if I'm feeling all the zodiacs, and the light on my face is shifting. Can you see it? Why don't I do the Zodiac Shapeshifter? The all-in-one. I can't make up my mind. Let's do all of them. Let's do Pisces. Because you are all of them, right? The evolved you. All right, Pisces. Let's see what's up with my existential shifters, my watery magicians, my mutable wizards, Pisces for Scorpio season. How is Venus treating you? How is Venus and Scorpio working through your subconscious, Pisces? There's a lot going on there, and who knows if it's in your subconscious or in your conscious. Who knows what goes where? It's one big, vast ocean, right? Okay, cards. Happy Halloween, by the way. Mm. Happy October as well. Okay. First cards up, the Fool and the Four of Swords. Can you see it? Wow, the light is really interesting. Wow. <laughs> okay, so it's almost like rising from the ashes. See here, he's lying on the ground, snow. And then here is just like all happy and trusting and crazy jumping off a cliff. Better a glorious failure than dreams in the drawer. There's a song in Hebrew. It says, Adif kishalon mefoar michalomot bamegira. So you're like, okay, I've been putting this to sleep for long enough, I've been thinking about it long enough, whether I succeed or I fail, all I know is I can't stay in this frozen position. I need to hop, jump, skip, try, and if I fall flat on my face or if I fly, honestly, I don't care anymore. I get it, Pisces. I'm actually rooting for you. I'm trying to find the angle where the sun isn't like burning my face. Can you see me? Because <laughs> I can't see myself. There. Oh, there. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, some of you are really waking up from a coma and being like, I'm going for it. I don't know what it is yet could be anything the fool goes for anything and everything no one can guess his next move and it's gonna be surprising for a lot of people because a lot of people were watching you kind of looking numb or maybe that's what they thought they were seeing maybe you were just you know kind of the calm before the storm resting reassessing before making a big leap and being like hey I'm here look at me the higher fan you know what you're doing The Fool and the Hierophant, it's a very strong inner truth. You know 
what you are doing. You know what you want. No one can tell you otherwise. If an organization and or family or school or society or anything is trying to tell you otherwise, I don't I don't see you listening. And I kind of like it, vigilant Pisces. Pisces are vigilant. Ooh. Pisces warriors, fighters. Ooh, you guys are vigilant. And I like that. Okay, so what it is that you, what is it that you want to do? What it is that you, what is it that you're going to do? The Fool and the Hierophant. After the Four of Swords, what an awakening. It's like, boom. I'm thinking it's just something that's going to... I think you just kind of took your time to... I don't know, to, to form a plan, to figure it out before you just rise up and be like, this is what I'm doing now. And people are like, where the hell did that come from? We thought you were asleep. We thought you were dead. We thought you were in a coma. We thought you gave up. We thought you left. And here you are, victorious, back on top of the on top of the mountain. Knowledgeable, successful. You've gained some wisdom recently, Pisces. You've gained some newfound wisdom. And you're owning it. Might even be teaching it. Something very out of the box. Out of the norm. Might even be something that combines something that is both out of the box and in the box. You know, because every room, every box, it's just walls separating between air and another air. What's in the box is air. What's out of the box is air. Differences are an illusion. It's, it's a state of mind. It's perception. This is air inside the box. This is air outside of the box. What is inside and what is outside? Does the inside is the fact that there's four walls, maybe six walls, containing this air, but is the air any different? Is the emptiness any different? Is the fullness any different? Who knows? Who cares? Truth is truth. Wisdom is wisdom. Knowledge is knowledge. Energy is energy. You get that, Pisces. Now you want to show it. And maybe you've been going a little bit, you know, off grid to figure out how. And now that inspiration is coming, now that the fool is emerging in you, people have a say. They don't like it. Five of Wands competition rejection conflict why do you think you can do this why do you think you can say that who do you think you are hangman in the reverse he fell down right on the four of swords you're like I'm not having it anymore I'm not sacrificing my faith my beliefs my knowing just because you have a problem with it. I'm not keeping my head down so someone else will feel taller. I'm not staying a victim so someone else will feel a hero. I'm not doing all that acting thing of being allegedly smaller than I am so my environment will continue feeling good about their own self-destructive illusions of being small. Therefore, if I dare to rise, they're feeling even smaller. So, oh my God, maybe I should keep myself all so small. No, 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 not doing this game anymore. Of the hangman, of the sacrifice for the others, for humanity, for knowledge. Mm -mm. I already did that. You already did that, right, Pisces? You already been in that place, in that role, in that game, in that matrix. But now you're done. You're like, uh-uh. You, you don't you don't get a say over me sir madame you don't get a say over me sir madame 
no more martyr, no more sacrificing for the others, for others' perception, for others' convenience. They can be as strong or as weak as they wish to be. That should not be affecting you, Pisces. You go show. You go rise. Oh, I'm trying to... Oh, there it is. You go show. You go rise. You go say. You go teach. You go shine. All right. I like it. I like that the hangman in the reverse fell on the four of swords, especially after we woke up. We woke up. We feel good about ourselves. People have something to say about it, but we don't care. All right. <laughs> they can say it to the pillow. You can say it to the pillow, Pisces. All right, let's keep going for Pisces for November. What comes after the hangman in the reverse? Now, hangman, yeah, it's you. So allegedly, if it's in the reverse, it can seem like allegedly bad. Maybe some of you were sick. Maybe some of you were depressed. Maybe some of you were away. Maybe some of you were going through financial problems, health problems, whatnot. But you're over it. You feel over it, but you know who keeps you in it? People who are used to you being there. And they try to keep you there because that's how they're used to knowing you or seeing you. Don't matter. You don't need to keep yourself in the past of yourself just because people don't get it. That you're not that person that you're not that person that you don't serve that you know that role that you used to serve for them anymore that you've grown and they need to grow and everybody gets to grow that's great it's like imagine you being in a warehouse like uh, not a warehouse like a, you know like a, um, a safe warm garden and you're a little cute plant that needs tend to, to be tended to and be helped and like just the right amount of sun, just the right amount of water and you you grow and you grow and suddenly you grow too big and, 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 and the, the ceiling is too low and now it hurts and, but the ceiling is like it won't expand and then the gardener will, won't like take you out of it because no but that's where you're supposed to be and you're like ah oh, but it hurts. If your circumstances, aka people in your life, situations, work, relationships, whatnot, if the shoe box is too small for your new shoe size, I would say get a new shoe box or I would just say you don't need a box. <laughs> Walk those shoes. <laughs> don't keep them in the box. Walk those shoes. All right. Okay, so we got that straight. Thank you. Page of Wands. I'm sorry, Page of Swords, Two of Wands. What do you want to study? What do you want to study? You want to expand your horizons. You want to get new knowledge. What do you want to study? Some of you are thinking about schools. Yes, go for it. Could be school, could be class, could be a course, a studio, anything of the knowledge be whatever you want it to be I don't know you tell me this is general reading many Pisces are out there can you see me now don't escape the Sun soak in the Sun more gain if you shine too bright for others to see let them put on sunglasses I'm kidding. I want you to see me right. Okay. <laughs> this serves our video. Two of Wands, Page of Swords. School. Students. Go learn something new. Okay, go expand your knowledge. Go learn. Um, 
you can't speak louder than your knowledge okay if you want to speak louder make sure that the knowledge is in the same volume that you want to speak it does that make sense don't speak louder than your knowledge Queen of Cups Scorpio Scorpio season November A moment, a pause. Queen of Cups. Look at this here. So this guy carries a big talk, the sword, the communication, right? This gal here, she has the cup here, but she's closing it with her hand. She's covering for her uh, intuitive, emotional, spiritual knowledge. Cup, the water, that's what it represents. Some of you have someone in your life that talks big, but doesn't really show their heart. They have a lot to say about what they know, but they keep, keep their cards actually close to their heart. I was about to say the way to go about it, and then I stopped myself because I don't think there should be a way to go about it. They have their process and their journey. Let them, let them go through it. Let them cover, um, un uncover their emotions when they feel ready. Also, there's two individuals here. One that feels a lot, but doesn't express it verbally. And then another one that expresses a lot verbally, but doesn't feel much. Or, you know, people who say a lot, but don't really say anything. You're like listening to them listening to them talk and talk and talk for like an hour but you're like but what was what was the meaning of all this what was the purpose of all this like i didn't i didn't get anything out of it and you're like sitting there having your feels have a lot to say but you just don't have room to express your heart because someone is filling the void with just words 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 step away i says you don't need to heal everybody Let them find a fire sign that needs all that air to, you know, blow their ego up. Go find a, a hierophant, a, a good strong earth element that can contain all your water, whether you say it or not. Clarify this Queen of Cups. Let's see further for this Queen of Cups for Pisces. Five of Cups. Some of you are emotionally feeling very low. Some of you are even suffering from depression. Because the Queen of Cups really goes deep to her emotions, good or bad. And the Five of Cups is very pessimistic. And the Queen of Cups can be dark. So there is the element of dark emotions. But also, someone might be into you and you're just not giving it to them and it's like they, they tried this cup and they tried this cup and they try to offer that and they try to say that but you're like no this is my cup i'm not giving that's okay pisces i'm not no judgment so let's see what the advice is oh that was fast two of swords king of swords the chariot do you boo don't be apologetic not time to think of other people's emotions time for your journey of growth see i have the page of swords here and now i have the king of swords next to the chariot a journey of growth
expanding your communication levels from the heart, from the emotion, from the intuition, outside, verbally. Having it focused, not just tons of drib gibberish, you know, thrown out into the air. Page of Swords just talks, talks, talks. King of Swords learns how to harness all that talk and all that knowledge. Sorry. And he's very focused. He's a, he's a great communicator. He's also a great diplomat. He knows how to show his truth without stepping on too many toes, right? Hmm. Some of you, very few of you, had a hidden enemy. Um, and now throughout this month of October, maybe they've shown themselves again and allowed you to be more aware of their presence. But I don't see anyone succeeding or anyone hurting you. If this resonates with you, it doesn't have to resonate with you. This could be very, you know, for particular few. But those of you that it's relevant for, you're just, you're finding a way to escape it or to bypass it or to kind of not let it get you in a way. Maybe some of you traveled so someone can't find you or, I know it sounds dramatic, it doesn't have to be a big deal, but those of you who had a weird um, change of route, like, found yourself in a different place than you expected to find yourself and it all kind of happened in a serendipitous kind of way where like I don't know how it happened but then the universe just made it happen somehow like I woke up one morning I was there yesterday I was there now I'm here how did that happen um, I feel like it was guided for your protection so just flow with it for a couple of months until the end of November. That's when things will come to pass. Those of you who, are, um, who have someone, could be something legal, could be something personal, could be a crazy ex-boyfriend, I don't know. Um, if someone is kind of trying to find you, this will go away by the end of November and that is when you will be completely released of that energy. Interesting. Okay. Cool. message Pisces um, in the extended I will take the repetitive uh, cards that have a repetitive the cards that have repetitive numbers for example I have two twos on the table um, I will take the major arcanas which I have one two three four of them now and I will create a new narrative and I, will, I won't create a new narrative, I will uh, rearrange the cards on the table differently, like in accordance to the numerological aspect and to the element aspect of the cards. And then a new meaning and interpretation will come of it. And I will also speak of the connections of the elements and the numbers to it. And then after that, I'll clean the table, do a new shuffle of a Celtic cross, very ancient gypsy reading of 10 cards on the table. Um, it has more of an organized, structured, kind of aspect to it, more of a specific narrative. And then we will finish up with messages from the runes, from the Celtic runes. Um, and right now, before we finish, after we finish this general reading and after I show you your extended, we'll have messages from the Akashic Tarot. I think I found my, uh, my angle. <laughs> I want you to see this. Okay, you can see the table sort of with the sun, right? So let's conclude this. Hmm. Some of you are traveling around this month or November either for work or school or maybe both. 
maybe you're working in a, cor in a corporation or an organization and you go abroad or somewhere else to learn something um, in order to expand your knowledge and then keep you know growing in the company uh, you could be in the military and they are sending you to the academy uh, to learn something academic so you can go back to the military and progress as an officer or, or whatever um, and then you feel like if it's relevant to you that narrative then y you might have to leave behind or go away and have a distance from a loved one a potential spouse um, that you know it, it might affect their state of mind maybe they're feeling sad or depressed from the distance but they should look on it or if it's you whomever is feeling the distance and the pain of it look at the grand picture you know who's ever going is going to come back much stronger much better it will be great for your future so let's look at the big picture either you Pisces or the other person if this speaks to you there's a few narratives here um, okay Pisces Sun Moon rising Venus and midheaven let's conclude this reading please for November okay Ooh, I love this <laughs> ace of swords okay those of you that resonate with the military narrative that I just gave right on this is destined this is a great direction for your career for your life uh, it's not something you can avoid it's something that you you feel deeply that you need to do you need to go for it regardless all other narratives if you are in the narrative of allegedly escaping a danger or someone who is looking for you or whatnot you're victorious the sword is with you okay no one no one can and and the universe is very protective over you um, if you're expanding your knowledge and waking up from alleged coma and now you want to express your truth and your knowledge to people and they have a little bit of ob objections and you're like I don't care truth is with you energy is with you be sharp non apologetic keep doing what you're doing I'm really encouraging you um, better essence than words if you can't walk the talk don't talk fucking hate that shit I'm sorry see the difference here this one is like a kid holding a sword way above his you know size and this is just a sword held by fire <laughs> like who's more powerful the person trying to hold the sword or the sword and the fire that forged it essence speaks louder than, than words a lot of people with swords here A lot of swords here okay in the extended um, this is a great beginning of a new self this really resonates with everything Pisces this is very sharp very powerful November marks a great time for many of you okay now in your extended gonna do this and, but we're changing the order we're going chronologically 0 5 7 12 and then I am taking all this sword kind of fun stuff because this feels mm, this feels like it's a story on its own two twos and two fives the bottom of the deck ten of swords <laughs> the fall of a king the rising of an heir we'll check this 
and a woman turning the wheels as always okay so this is the first part of our extended two fives 55 two twos 22 full hierophant chariot hangman this is on its own and this little fun thing here <laughs> we'll check this drama um and then i'll clear the table do a new shuffle and we'll have a celtic cross this could potentially be something completely different or an added value to something that we've already heard um and then we'll finish up with the room the link to that is right here in the information box below um below in the information box there is also some more magic um Tarot Masterclass. If you want to learn tarot from me, you just press the link and you have tons of uh, cards there. Class for each card. You can download or stream it and then you have it forever to learn from. And of course, if you want to come for a private session, email me. My email is below. Um, it's international. Uh, it's global. So it doesn't matter where you are in the world. We can talk. And what else? Happy Halloween. I will see you for December readings. Watch your other placements for broader picture. And also, this is very important, guys. Um, and I'm, I'm going to do the Akashic Terror really in a, in a sec. But something that is very important for me to let you guys know is I really encourage you and highly recommend to go back to your October readings, to past readings, to make the connections. Because this is the middle of October right now when I'm shooting this, When you're, if you're seeing it right when I'm doing it. Um, so the energy is right in the midst of everything. Instead of like guessing if it's relevant or only realizing it after it happens, if you watch October readings now and make the direct connection, this could really benefit you guys. Okay? You know, from a different point of view that already experienced the situation. All right. Yay, Akashic Tarot. Sorry, that was a noise. Look how pretty they are. Message from the Akashic Records for my Pisces Seeker for the month of November. Message for my Pisces for November, please. Accurate message for Pisces. For November, please. Oh, that's too much. Only one. <laughs> Pisces for November, please. They'll fall when they fall, you know. The message will come out when it will find itself. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for your subscriptions, by the way. And thank you for your comments. I read all your comments. I'm very grateful for each and every one of you. Uh, subscribing allows you to know when I have more videos for you. And it's also a great way to support me. So don't forget to press that subscribe button. Thank you. And join the existential ship, right? Okay. Message for Pisces. Yep, yeah, there it is. Yay. Ooh. Ooh. Sorry. <laughs> Got a little excited. Um, Hilarion. Another five on the table, by the way. Can you see all these individuals? Some are ghost-like looking. Okay, story time. Hilarion. There it is. Seen here with spirit and the implements of study and scientific discovery, Hilarion is a powerful ascended master and a wonderful connection to the fund of information that the Akashic records hold. He is the master of research, science, truth, healing, logical mind, concrete knowledge, and spirit communication. So if you've been thinking about pursuing an endeavor in these areas, now is the time to start. Did I not say to go ahead and study something? Right on. I like confirmations. Like the angels and other masters, Hilarion is always available to you, and receiving this card's upright, this card upright is telling you that his assistance is close at hand. 
If you are working on a project that requires research, a strong academic approach, and attention to detail, it's full steam ahead. It's time to open, this, to open to this master's energy if you have a job that involves any type of evidence detection and drawing conclusions from that discovery. These types of jobs include scientific research, mediumship, forensic activity, the law, medical testing, and more. These and similar activities should be on the rise for you now. This is the time to bring a logical approach to all your pursuits. Hilarion is right there with you, blessing you with help, clarity, and direction. I love that. It resonates so well with the reading, Pisces. Ah, you guys are rock and roll. You sync so beautifully, always. I love doing your readings. I love you guys. I do. Okay. I will see you right away in your extended. Link is below. Other fun stuff is also below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe here. And yeah, is it here? Is it here? I don't know. Check it out. And I will see you in December and happy Halloween. Bye.